Welcome to the Oculus Quest 2 user interface. We've got menu buttons along the bottom. Got my record panel running. But you'll notice as I turn my body, I can look all the way up and all the way down. You might see a ring around me. That is my guardian loop. It's designed to help keep me safe from moving outside of a specified area in real space so I don't hurt myself. I'm still turning around just to give you the idea that we are completely immersed visually. So I can open my browser and I've already preloaded a story map to give you an example of what we're going to look at today. As I use my handheld device, I can scroll down my story map and read the content, see the images. And I've prepared a special button here that will launch a 360 VR experience. Pressing the button, it launches a new tab in my browser. And you'll notice that just as on the desktop, I can click and drag, although a little awkward in globe mode, we'll zoom in a little bit, and I can explore my 3D, sorry, 360 VR experience. Now you'll notice in the center of my screen, there is also a little white mask. This indicates to me that I can go full immersive mode or full VR immers immersive mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that mask and I should be moved into, yes, a full 360 VR immersion. Now in this particular case, I can't move the globe anymore because I can move my head around just as I explored my user interface before I can explore my 3D scene. Now if I click somewhere on screen, I'll get the slides for this 360 VR experience, and it will hop me around to the destinations that I have pre-selected as an instructor. Again, this is a 360 VR experience in full VR mode, and we are in the Oculus Quest 2.